Good evening, sports fans. I'm Colonel Failure, and you are watching uh, YouTube. Uh, hello. Uh, welcome to the final episode of A Bit of Transport Fever here. Just make sure I've unmuted my mic. I have. I don't know. What do you know? Everything appears to be working. Um, good evening. Good evening. I've got the hat on. Um, it's all it's all grand. It's lovely to see you all here. I've no idea how many people we've got here, obviously. Um, but, uh, no, there we are. Um, right, okay, we'll start where we always start, uh, which is uh, with, uh, with random shout-out to, uh, to anybody who says hello uh, in the old stream there. Uh, so, uh, so if you're in the chat, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's go. Uh, I think there might be a bit of a, bit of a, slight, a slight delay in between me doing this and doing that. I should probably gesture at the screen or something. As ever, uh, game's over here, you're there, and then all the chat and stuff's uh, down there. Uh, no, 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 I'm definitely not muted. Definitely not. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to go from Simveld. Hello, Simveld. Uh, hello, Yarrow. Uh, good evening, Ghost. Uh, Johnny, uh, Aeolium, uh, Saturn, Mist, Arno, uh, Hayden, Desmond, uh, Thice, uh, Peter, Squalookal. Uh, Neil, Rodrigo, Grand T, Simveld again, uh, Luke, Noah, Simon. Oh, it's all going very fast now, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, okay, there we are. Uh, hello, I am the Colonel of your huts. This is Transport Fever. Let's play our game. Uh, right, and uh, dispatch. Uh, the, yes, all right, yes, there's a lot of hellos going on now. Uh, this, this might be a fairly short-lived tradition that I try and keep up with. How's me do looking? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's acceptable. Um... Uh, anyway, uh, this evening, the uh, the aim of the game is to I don't know. Uh, well, we've got this junction to fix. I've I've left it paused for the time being. Uh, let's just set things running so we can we can see what level of madness uh, is actually occurring. Um, there's, there's a lot of hellos coming in now. Um, I've stopped. I've stopped with the hello now. I've I've no. I've done it. I've I've done that. You're all still going. Um, anyway, hey, whoa, whoa. Uh, right, trains, people. That's that's what we're here for. Uh, none of this conversation, Lark. Uh, it's all about all about a bit of trains. And where I left you at the end of the last episode was with all this stuff broken, as you can plainly see. Well, it's not broken. It's just queuing. Um, and uh, and I figured uh, we'd start out by uh, uh, by going. Uh, well, why is all this? Why is all this busted? Uh, thank you very much for the donation uh, there, Jeffers. Uh, much appreciated. And once again, my notification alert system is, uh, is behaving very poorly. Um, right. Uh, okay, right, well, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll resolve that. Um, yeah, no, because I've, I've got notification thing happening over here. Yes, everyone says there's a lot of buffering and lag and typical. It's happened just when I've unpaused the game. Ah, uh, well, ain't that... Isn't that, isn't that always the way? Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Right, I see the chop. Uh, well, well, let's go over here and switch to chat. Chop. Ack. Knowledged. Uh, Ack. No. Ledged. Ledged. Um, good. Right. Okay. Well, steam is at the junction. Uh, I'll watch later when it quits buffering. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, right. So let's. Uh, uh, I'm going to. What am I going to do? Well, that's typical because it's been working just fine so far. Stream Health says it's dandy. And. Anyone? No. Thank you for this, YouTube. You are absolutely splendid. Right. Hit play, and then it's picked up again. Okay, right. Um, should still be fine. I'm back in. Right. Technical difficulties. I could push the technical difficulties button, but it feels like it's, uh, it's a little bit, uh, little bit erratic. Um, if it goes again, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take a swifty break and I'll come back at a lower resolution. It was a little bit dicey whether this resolution was going to pay off or not. And, uh, and as you can see, dicey with uh, with good reason but i'll keep an eye on my because i've got myself over there uh obviously if i start to uh if i start to to buffer again we'll uh, we'll we'll make uh we'll make adjustments accordingly um anyway as you can see these flipping long numbers uh, are doing the damage this is the uh, the metropolis cannibal um 
And uh, not only is it cannibalizing other routes, uh, it's now also clogging the entire, the entire network up. Now, it could be purely because there's so many of them that are bunched up at the moment that's causing the problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, these things happen. Um, we'll, just have to, we'll just have to wait and see what's happening. So we're gonna, I'm going to follow these along for a sec. Um, but I do need to do something with that junction to, uh, to up the, uh, the amount of, of throughput. I think we'll ride on board this for a moment. Um, just to uh, just to get that moving, I'm going to turn my own sound down. Hold on. Uh, you, you, otherwise, you'll get all kinds of echoey rubbish going on. Um, yes, as mentioned, because it was buffering at the time. Uh, thanks very much for the donation, Jeffers. Uh, you're a you're, you're a big stud, and you know it. Um, uh, anyway, right here we go. So it's, this is now a collection of uh, of commuters and uh, and cannibals and whatever this one is, the alternative American route. Um, uh, running up and down here, and we're at the front of the line now, so so we shouldn't actually have too much of a difficulty when it comes to queuing. But it's queuing back the opposite way as well. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I've got enough capacity on this on this route, uh, and that's that's going to uh, that's going to need some tweaking. I suspect. Right, let's get off again. Um, Anyway, it's nice to see that that's carrying an awful lot of passengers. Um, the other thing that might help a little uh, would be a heck of a lot more signals. Um, because with more signals, they can, they can bunch up a lot more. Even if the train is longer than the, the gap between the two sets of signals, it should assist in keeping things moving. And to be honest, I think I've already had that idea. And it's, it's really not, it's not come off brilliantly, has it? Um, but as you can see, if we turn off... Uh, all of this, right? We turn that lot off for the moment. Then we can just see the vehicles, and uh, and then everything is uh, is all good. Oh, Chris! Uh, thank you very much for the donation. Um, you're a splendid individual, and uh, and I've heard nothing but good things about you. Uh, thanks very much. Much appreciated. Uh, right. So we still have queuing going on. Now, obviously, this new metro line of route that we set up recently, uh, that's going to have no problems at all because it's on a dedicated line, although it does get, it does kind of do a bit of a merger action there. The question is, what's, what's the fix? What, how, how would I go about fixing that? Um, have a fast and a slow line, uh, suggests Anglo-Saxon. That's not a bad idea. Um, but it's, I mean, you know, we've we've got this we've got this troublemaker still to come through as well, who's who's currently waiting. And obviously, any time they spend waiting to uh, to to hit the road, I'm losing money. Um, so, what are we going to do about that then? All right. First and foremost, I think we'll make an adjustment here. So I did mention this one before. Uh, Neil Murphy, uh, thanks very much for uh, for signing up as a member. Uh, you're a big splendid individual and you're already in bad company which makes you even more splendid than you were already uh, much appreciated I think that makes you member number uh, about number nine uh, if I'm counting correctly oh hello uh, Simfeld another new member oh well I see now that the membership thing's happening um, I'm going to say it's number ten but I haven't counted recently and I should be paused really shouldn't I um, right there we go uh, let's Let's do that. So here's my thinking is that uh, because the commuter crosses over the track here, that's definitely not going to help. So I'm going to try and squeak a tunnel underneath. And, uh, and obviously, I've not thought this through at all. Um, but I mean, what else would you expect, frankly? Um, you know, that's, that's, just a, <laughs> that's, just a, that's just crazy talk. Uh, why, would I, why would I bother to think it through? Construction's not possible. I, th I think you'll find it is possible. Uh, I think you'll find that that is, that is incredibly possible. Watch me. They see. See? It was possible all the time, and you just didn't realize it. Um, right. Okay. Now then, I'll just let's put the road back in first. As ever, uh, something that looked like it was going to be simple, and I've already started bulldozing the entire joint. Uh, right. And then, no, not that. This. There you go. Yes. Trains. That's, uh, that's what we're here for. That's not standard. Speedy. 
with some uh, some electrification. Oh, uh, Captain Winkle, thanks very much for the uh, donation sufficient to possibly buy a train. Um, you cheeky blighter. Uh, but I do uh, I do take that in the uh, in the spirit it was intended. And another another new member. Oh, I'm flipping. I don't, I'm quite. This is great. Uh, that's Zuraith Zuka. Uh, Zuraith Zuka or Zucka. Regardless, uh, you're a wraith, and uh, and therefore you are most splendid. Um, right, so get a bit of get a bit of underground action going on here, uh, and hold on, it's a bit of smoothing gun first. I mean, look at the mess that I left here. Because uh, for those of you who've been with the series for a while, you'll remember that originally we had a little bubble loop going on at the end here, um, and uh, it I mean it it wasn't it wasn't attractive. Okay, so here we go. Do I need electrification? No, I don't. Let's let's keep it out of here. We need to get underground, uh, and we need to get underground while uh, while not being snapped, because otherwise it's going to fight me. These things always have a tendency to fight me. Uh, here we go. Right now, down a bit. There you go. And no, don't snap. Don't no no snappage. Now, I know you're all saying, like, oh, you can hold shift down and it won't snap. You can't, yes, but you're also, sometimes you can't hit the tick either. This time, obviously, I could. Uh, but I've seen it happen, and uh, and it's not a pretty sight. Um, good. Uh, right, okay, continue downwards. How much space do you need here? Because we are now going a little off. We're, we're off a little off, off course here, a smidge. You, you know, it would be be lovely if we were already underground there we go right okay we've got tunnel we have tunnel now we're going to have to make quite an aggressive corner here and to be honest i'm going off the idea rapidly um because this station is right next to the corner and it is a stopper uh, we do stop there um all right let's hold the snap button and go like that oh yeah oh oh now you're talking except you're not talking uh you're colliding Please don't collide. You'll find life's ever so much better if you don't collide. Okay, right. Well, that's the under route. I wonder if going over is smarter. Um, don't know. Uh, the, Philip, thank you, for the, thank you for the contribution. Um, a down payment for some more platforms at Detroit, Maine. Uh, oh, oh, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, I suppose I could, couldn't I? I've got, uh, I mean, I've got 85 million quid in the bank. Um, that's more than enough for me to bulldoze at least one major station, isn't it? Uh, right. Can we get under here? No, we can't because you haven't tunneled yet. Oh, I've made a hash of this. Flip. I had it. I had it. It was working. And it's because I've tried to steer immediately. Now, I could try and do another one of those fancy bridge maneuvers that I've done before. You don't remember how successful that was. I mean, I've got three hours this evening. Um... You know, how bad can it be? You might not want to answer that immediately, because we already know it can be pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to try it, though, because uh, that might that might actually work. Right, so if we go around here and keep going down, uh, we, have, uh, we currently have eight warnings going on. Excellent. Right, 70 ought to do it. I can get around at 70. And then we should be able to do just a minor hop with the main line and get round without everything being destroyed. We're then slowing to 55. This is wretched. Uh, yeah. Okay. Look, this might we might not complete this in one go here. We we might need a we might need a second swing at this one. Um, but hey, hey, look, it's an adventure, isn't it? Uh, you know, surely, surely this is gonna gonna work. What's this pointy bit we've discovered? Just it's just a stubborn piece of land. Okay, well, so be it. Let's uh, let's have a look. Let's uh, let's see what we get. I've no idea where that train's gone. Incidentally, um, I'm sure it'll turn up. It'll be all right. Now, if I where's the where's the centre? If I decide to try and hump back this, I don't really want to hump back this because because that feels terrible. But. Uh, Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We wouldn't use wooden trestle. We'd use, let's just, we wouldn't use box girder. Um, where's the nice modern one? There you go. We'd use some nice modern like that. It doesn't look, or it, hang on. 
It looks a little bit awful. But it is it is practical to a degree. Um, if I were to keep the height up a little longer, then it wouldn't look quite as quite as uh, abrupt as it does. I think it's going to work. Well, obviously it's going to work. I mean, you know, I've connected the track back up, and that's that's all you need to do for it to work. If I can get, don't oh no, don't give me that. Flipping bridges. Um, all right, let's uh, let's try going the other way. I'm not giving up on this just yet. And uh, but my my eighty million, uh, yeah, my eighty millions worth of bulldozing fund doesn't look like it's going to be sticking around very long, does it? No, no, it really, it really doesn't. Uh, Yarrow, uh, thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. Uh, this is a follow up investment for Detroit main construction from a concerned citizen. Uh, follow up shop. Congrats, first person you've ever donated money to. That's uh, that's that's rather marvellous of you. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm very pleased that I provide a modicum of entertainment, even if at the moment that modicum of entertainment is is a bit disastrous. Um, it won't always be. Well, I'll fix it. Don't worry. I've got form. Um, all right. Okay. Well, what if we gave up on the under as an idea and tried over instead? Uh, well, I haven't spent too much so far, although I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't really been keeping too much of an eye on how much all of this is costing. Uh, although I do remember the number 85 million. So, uh, so we'll see. Why have I got a... What is that? Can I delete it? No. All right. Uh, th obviously, that's some kind of special geological formation or other. Um, right. Plumb these back in. Go over the geological formation. There we go. And then maybe it will leave us alone. Uh, and then we will endeavor to, uh, to elevate ourselves. Now, I have had some success doing these, you know. Uh, these kind of close-in bridges... I have. You've, you've seen it happen, and it's and it's been terrific. Uh, I don't. Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, oh, and other noises of a similar fashion. Right. Uh, well, let's let's see what we get here. Go on, get over. Flawless. There you go. That's not so bad. The height's quite high. It hasn't bothered putting a pillar in there. I'm I'm less pleased with that. Uh, maybe it'll do it when I hit the tick. No, it's uh, it's decided to leave it off, and then we should be able to just join back up with civilization. All right, acceptable. I mean, that's kind of the maneuver that I was thinking of, but I wanted to go under. Uh, but instead, we've gone over, and then I can unpause, and uh, and everything will will just beautifully work. Now I know I I deleted. Uh, I think about two hundred and fifty seven signals there, so uh, I'm going to put in some signals just to keep everything everything rolling along we'll bang some here we'll bang some here and then because they they're using the the through section of the station here uh we'll did i put i put those ones on the wrong side didn't i i did i know i did right uh okay let's so right, i'll go fix them i'll go fix them it's all right it's all right i'm there i'm on it i did notice there you go. Get rid of... No, you didn't. I actually put them on the right side of the station. Or did I? Yes, I did. Then I should shut up and just get on with it. Fair deal. Uh, right, and we'll stick one on there, and uh, we'll stick an interstitial one on the bridge as well. Despite the fact that trains are not renowned uh, for their liking of stopping while on slopes. Um, but hey, uh, there we go. Right, okay, so good. Hmm. Yes, Simveld there, looking very natty in his new membership shield. Ah, uh, isn't that... Ah, uh, isn't that section. Uh, wasn't part of that double track. No, it's not. So, uh, uh, the outside line here is, uh, is for the commuter route coming back in. And previously what it was doing was crossing over. Here's the, the effective double track for this one, is the one that leads out in the first place. So they're the outside two kind of dealios there. Yeah? Makes sense? Everybody on board? Good. Please rebuild Detroit, Maine. Well, given that quite a few people have thrown money at me to uh, to rebuild Detroit, Maine, I'm going to. This is going to suck. Uh, or, at the very least, it's going to be jolly expensive. Right, let's, uh, 
Let's suspend operations on that one. And then who have we got coming up this way? Because I can then fall, I could quad track going up that way as well. Uh, right, if we stop you. There we go. Come on, you lot, get out. Come on, come on, come on. Clear through, and you stop there now. There we go. And then we should just be causing a queue out that side. We just need to get that one. Any more? Nope, I think we've got them all. Okay, everybody, place your bets now, please. Uh, when I go to hit the upgrade button on Detroit, is it going to say, oh, yeah, no problem. It's only going to bulldoze three or four houses. Uh, or are instead, what I'm going to do is, uh, is just nuke it and all of this lot. This is going to be incredibly expensive. And all of that lot. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, there's a lot of people currently waiting for a train who are going to be a little bit disappointed. Okay, construction's not possible. Well, we figured that would be the case, didn't we? Uh, right. So, how much of a mess do I actually need to make here? Uh, I, I, I think my initial projection of how much mess I needed to make was, uh, was bang on, frankly. Um, it will fight me. Yes. Yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah. We're going to nuke it. Pork barrels. Oh, come on, man. No, no, no. I'm not pork barreling at the moment. What I'm going to do... Uh, John, you should know better than that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out loans. I know I'm playing legit. Even though I've still got some port barrels to pay off, I think the likelihood I'm going to get around to doing that, I don't know, we might do. You know what? That's going to be in my agenda. Um, if, uh, if someone can make a poll in the, in the chat there, uh, will I pay off all of the port barrels before the end of the episode? I think I've got about 50 million, maybe a bit more, in port barrels to pay off. Anyway, there goes Detroit. Uh, it was nice while it lasted. Right, so let's do that. And uh, and then let's kill all of this as well. Now, the other thing I have to remember is the configuration. So we've got two up, two down at the moment. So we go down, down, up, up, or up, up, down, down, depending how you look at it. Um, and uh, and here we go. Let's uh, let's Let's play the weakest link. Uh, right, here's the flexible station, and uh, that's what we want. We only need high speed. We'll go with we'll bang up. Well, well modern is what we're going to, you know what we need here. We need a passing track as well. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm oh oh I'm so excited about a passing track, uh, and that's going to be I think on B. All right, let's uh, let's let's plan out here over here, shall we? Yeah, passing track on B because obviously we've got the. The freight line goes through here as well. Please hold, I'm thinking. I know that's what that noise is. I think I need two. I need two, don't I? In order to avoid everything. I mean, if I'm bulldozing this lot anyway, let's let's do it right. Let's uh, let's let's level the entire area. Uh, keep the street length to relatively short. Uh, show station building. Well, what if we did no? Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm about that. I've not done one of those before. I mean, it's not. I mean, I ooh, but it's not tremendously exciting, now is it? Um, uh, street size small, sure. Urban new, yeah. And I want, I want more streets than you're giving me here. Where have, I, have we seen it yet? There we go. Both, both, both. Right then. Hello, everybody. You're about to be homeless. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking out all your houses. There we go, we're in. 26.1 million. That's expensive. Um, and that's more or less the right spot for it. If we... Oh, no, 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 I had it. Uh, put it back there, right? Hold down shift, and then just, just give me a bit of gentle twizzle. Like that. That would do it. Okay, 27.2 million, 38 buildings a bit. I'm just going to... Oh, 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 that was... Oh, that's not, it's not quite brilliantly aligned, though, is it? Let's have another go at that. Because, um, obviously, they're not going to rebuild in the interim. So, I mean, I might take out another couple of houses, but uh, it's not like I'm going to do any more damage, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you got three people there kind of going, well, they didn't come for us, but the neighbours have got... Oh, no, hold on, he's back. Oh, no, no, not my house. My hydrangeas. Uh, right, yeah. 
good. What's that stubborn thing down there that I'm going to have to deal with as well? And I'm going to have to relay this track unless I can pull it over this way a little bit more. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Right, go. All right, we're in. I'm going to set... Do you, know, do you think I just put that in exactly the same place as it was before? Yeah, I think I might have done, you know. All right, once more, with feeling. Yeah, I know, I've, I've spent the best part of a million quid on just bit, rebuilding bits of station at this point. Um, but I've, I've given... I've, I've thrown so much... So much uh, wonga at this already. Mr. Hitbone says, worth it. I, I, we'll see. We'll see whether it's worth it or not if I manage to plug it all back in again. Uh, right. Now, I've lengthened the streets here to see if this connects up a little bit better. Um, wait. wait. Oh, that, there, was an, there was an inadvertent click going on there. Right, okay, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, and one of them isn't. Now, I think there is going to be a little bit of uh, of not quite... See, if that's straight there, then I have... I'm not going to point at it. I'm not going to point at it because uh, doing so... It's up there, right? There you go, that's as, that's as close to pointing at it as I can get. Uh, James Wright uh, has flung me a, flung me a fiver to, uh, to help with the rebuilding of Detroit. Cheers, James. Yeah, I mean, that's going to make all the difference, isn't it? Yeah, Fiverr. I'm sure Miggins will be able to reopen whatever it, new housing establishment she's got with that. Just build the thing and then make it work. Oh, that's, that's no attitude. Build the thing correctly. You keep putting it there because that's the right angle, so put it back in. Right. And then, from here, we're going to need a bit of road. I'm a pro. There you go. Bang that in there. That looks all right, doesn't it? And now we have... Oh, dear. Phil, sorry for you. Oh, my goodness. That's another station. All right. This is going to be a slightly abrupt angle we take here, chaps. Um, and let's try this one first. Oh, it's actually, it's not that bad, is it? Uh, and then that one. That's that's quite horrible, though. Is there anything I can do to make that better? No, it don't, I don't, and to be honest, I mean, 102 kilometers an hour is 60 miles per hour. Um, so uh, so there we go. Noah is saying, sorry, Noah, I can't quite see the whole of your comment there. Two trains pass through and use curves. I'll wait till my, my notification tron pops that up correctly. But thanks for the donation. Uh, no trains pass through. Uh, they do. Uh, goods trains pass through. Um, and use the curved station. Curve station wouldn't help me here, dude. It, well, arguably, maybe if I put ever such a slight amount of angle at this end that we're looking at now, maybe that would have helped. Um, you say maybe that would have helped. I think it would have almost certainly helped. You know what? I'm going to do it. I yeah, yeah. I haven't done much since we put that in. I built a little bit of road, but uh, I can do that again. These people. They're, they're starting to look nervous. They're going like, oh, no. Why doesn't he just get it right first time? Right, let's go over here so I can fiddle with the angles where, where nothing's going to be trying to snap, and if I accidentally clip, it, the world doesn't end. Uh, right, undergrounds? No, no, no. Under, under, no, no undergrounds. Curve direction B is the wrong end. Curve direction A is what we want. Curve direction B, no curve direction. Hold on, is that right? I, is that no yes it is curve direction and then do a bit of that so that's what we'd be looking at here and obviously the angle is now completely all over the show uh give it give it some like that so if we look at the alignment that we've got we've still got problems up the other end um uh, neil's now now throwing me money to to rebuild detroit south oh, i don't want to rebuild detroit south fine we are not here just to uh, uh, just just to, to to bulldoze stations and have a bit of a giggle, or are we? Uh, right, I'm going to settle with this. All right, I'm going to take it. It's going to be absolutely dandy. I'm going to pull it this way as far as I can. 
Uh, as much as that's, that stuffs up the north side of it, it does make the south side more likely to work. Um, uh, Noah's saying freight trains use the bridge through El Paso. They don't use this station at all. Noah's right, everybody. Of course they do. Uh, I don't actually need these passing tracks. But I'm keeping them. Uh, I've built the space. I'm having them anyway. Uh, they do. You're not wrong, Noah. They, uh, the, the freight train comes off over here and then uses the flyover. I knew that. I was just testing you. Just just testing you there. You idiot. Um, right. Good. Now then, let's plumb this back in. This is worse than it was before. Whoever it told me to use the Bendy station was wrong in oh so many ways. Uh, I had it better previously. Now, if we slow this down to... It doesn't... Because it doesn't stop here. No, the outside line does. So we can slow this to about 60 and then try and get it clean onto that. Well, 114 is not exactly clean. This is, this is just wretched. It's just wretched. I really don't want to... I don't want to build the flipping station again. I'm going to build the station again. I, I don't want to. No, just do it. Look, get it right. You don't need the passing tracks. Get rid of them. Um, do it properly. Should have listened to Noah in the first place. Um, do we need the curvature? We possibly need the curvature. Let's get rid of the transit tracks and then see what we're faced with. This is the last one. I'm not doing it again. I promise you, this this is the last time uh, we, will, we will run with... We will use the cards we have been dealt by me this time. It's going to cost me three million to bulldoze that, but to be honest, that was going to bulldoze itself. It's going to get bulldozed in a moment anyway. Right, plumb it in. Let's run with that. That's it. We're uh, we're stuck with that now. I'm marrying it. It's uh, it's it's happening, and you won't connect to there. Well, I'd, I've got I've got news for you, sunshine. Um, I've done. I've had enough uh, mucking around with this now, and therefore the bulldozer's coming out to make this work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, eat this. Right, now then, uh, you're going to slide... How much have I got left? 50 million quid. Oh, flipping aura. Um That one's gone all bendy. Give me the, give me the big lad, because I think that's what we're running down here. It is. Right, okay, cool. So if we back up again... Uh, I have, incidentally, got the, uh, the mod that allows you to categorise roads by, by width, by type. Um... Uh, but uh, but it's all good. Shorten the length of the commuter station. You don't need them that long. Actually, I do. Uh, the big uh, is it Dutch number? The, well, anyway, those big uh, vanilla coloured numbers are uh, are easily this long. Um, and uh, and you know size matters. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Captain Flack is uh, has, has uh, slung a couple of uh, uh, simoleons at the screen towards the widows and orphans fund. Uh, of which I have just created, uh, which is uh, which is very civilized of you. Anyway, look, there you go. That's that fits together. That looks almost good. What? Yes. Um, now, right. Okay. Good. Kill off this. Can I shove you up the road a bit there, pal? There you go. That's good. Because um, I've got uh, I got breaking. Uh, I can't delete the station at the moment. And this is now going. We're now on a cross line peril with uh, with what we've previously the flyover I just built. So uh, so uh, you know there there is that. But this is this isn't completely awful. It is it is semi awful, but uh, but it's not completely awful. So uh, we'll we'll see we'll see if we can make that work if i could put a little bit of a kink in the end of this station but i don't think i'll be able to do it while there are trains in the station i think i'll have to uh, let them clear through before we do that and plus i ought to just put this uh this bit of road back in before i forget not that i'm prone to forgetting things even slightly uh right you connect that's no good yes that is good this one beautiful I know it doesn't match the other stuff, but you know, people will rebuild in there, and it'll be it'll be glorious and what have you. Uh, right, there we go. Computer London tube is as long a length as a really long Belgian uh, Acceptably awful. 
Good enough for government work. Now, I see this is all the right stuff. Hold on. I've still got six trains that are complaining, uh, but I suspect that is because I've got uh, I've got trains paused. But I think that's I think that's going to work. Well, it can't do any worse, right? So you're coming upstream this way, right? And uh, we're going to stick in some signals there. I've turned off my signal indicator, so let's turn that back on. Let's turn these back on. Uh, and then now it's now it's all it's all about the queuing there, friends. Uh, what have we got going on here? What are you waiting at? Did I dilute your signal? I appear to have done. All right. Well, I'll give you a signal there, and it's made of electricity, so won't that be jolly? Um, and then we'll. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna max up my potential uh, queuing opportunities here. Uh, I know it is uh, it is anti-Puritan, but it gives a greater chance that a train has just cleared a signal, uh, which means a greater chance that things can keep moving rather than have to wait. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's put you in there and you hold on. Have I got this the right way around? Yes, I have. I know. I'm surprised too. Um, yeah, keep it going. All right, so I might have a think about the uh, the 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 north station here and have a have a look at that as well. But at the moment, I'm almost satisfied. I I'm I'm satisfied. Right, let's uh, let's unpause. Let's turn that off. Let's tell things that they're allowed to go again. You're allowed to go again. Now the only way that this might cause problems is if I've got. Um, uh, stuff assigned. Uh, so if I've got if I've got bits and pieces that are assigned to specific platforms, this this could cause drama. Um, uh, James has, has also contributed uh, towards the Widows and Orphans Fund. Well, this is jolly decent of you. Um, uh, I mean, you know, you you are pretty much counteracting the people that uh, that paid uh, to make me bulldoze the station. Uh, but there we are. Right. So these routes report problems, but I think that was because. I'm hoping that was because of uh, of what I'd got set up. Let's uh, let's have a quick look. Was the main line one of them? Sioux Falls main line. Yes, it was. All right, talk to me. Yeah, you see, look, they, they, uh, I've hosed up my station assignment, my platform assignments. So Detroit Grand Central, which is here. Uh, which side was the station building? I think it was that side, wasn't it? So that's one, two, three, four. So you should come through on three and two instead of one and one okay uh all right yeah so uh going upstream you're going to come through on two like that and then coming back downstream you're going to go through on three could not connect all the stations oh um why I, I, that should work. I, I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't be fighting. Let's just check. I've got the numbering scheme going on correctly here. Uh, right. Pull up the pull up the station. Show me the show me the various different termini that one may interact with. Yeah, three and two. Should be right, unless I've got things the wrong way around. So Vancouver to Detroit. I've got them the wrong way around. Okay. It's okay. That one's on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take. No, hold on. Two? No, yeah, that one should be three. Right, fine. Yeah, okay, good. That one should be two. Should it? Yes, it should. Yeah, it totally should. Totes. Totes should. Right, that's that one dealt with then. We've got a few trains here having some problems. All right, well, we'll worry about that in a minute. Hold on. Uh, Detroit Grand Central. Hello. Uh, you're going through on one, and then you come back, and you're kind of going to go on four. Okay, good. That's what I need you to do. Do it. Uh, the alternative American. Uh, you two are going through two and three. So you're coming from Grand Junction. So it's coming up from up there. Come down through here. Detroit Grand Central. You're going to come through on three. Okay. Uh, Great American. Um, you are going to go up on two. Which I think it says you're already doing. Oh no, that's Grand Junction Riverside. Beg your pardon. Uh, you're going on two. There you go. That's you fixed. And then the Cannibal. 
What do we got going on here? Flipping silly, flipping route. Uh, right, number three. You've gone from El Paso up to Vancouver. You go up on two. And then if I see Detroit again, you're coming back on three. Um, uh, Brent has just flung uh, a, a doubloon or two uh, towards broken bulldozer parts, given that I've been giving it quite the rinsing uh, lately. Uh, thank you, Brent. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, you are going to come back out on the one that goes... Hold on, have I got this wrong? No, you haven't. You've got it right. Two. Something's gone wrong, though. Oh, no. How many times has it hit Detroit Grand Central? This was working. You go up on two. El Paso. Two. Yes. Vancouver. Right. And then coming back again. And that's not showing up either, unless I'm just, unless I, no, there you go, you can see it. Uh, then from Vancouver, you come back on, that should be three. What's the matter with you? Can't you tell the difference? There you go, working again, perfect. Now then, what's, what are you two clowns up to? Oh, okay. And you are in the wrong. Turn around, clear off. Now, he's going to stop at this station. And when he does so, uh, he's, he's possibly going to turn around and come back again. I've seen it happen, because they're all, they're all buffoons. Um, let's have a look here. And, wait for it, don't come back. Keep push. There we go. Good. Okay, now then, train 11. What's your problem? You're facing the right way. Uh, life's treating you well. What's your, what crisis of confidence are you having here? Maybe if we turn you around, you're off and running. All right. Tremendous. Uh, and uh, and we've had no word from Shut Up yet, but uh, but obviously it's only a matter of time before that happens. Uh, and uh, there we go. So we've got. Uh, Detroit Central is now is now re-engineered. There's an awful lot of honking going on. This is quite the quite the train spotter location we've got going on here. It should flow a little better. I don't think we've alleviated the core problem of that, um, but it should flow better. We'll see. Uh, we'll 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 see in due course whether that's the whether that's the case or not. Um, okay, well I'll tell you what. In order to uh, to try this out, let's hop on board this one, carrying four whole passengers. I know, count them four, and uh, and we'll we'll see uh, just how much waiting we have to do as we progress uh, up through the Detroit station complex. As I fling water all over myself, marvelous. Um, more electric as a hashtag. Oh, I'm not sure that'll catch on. Uh, I don't see any reason why not to do a bit more electric. Here we go. Got green. And then we've got a red as we've got another one of these big fat vanilla numbers sat ahead of us. And this is uh, the new Detroit uh, mega station that we're coming into now. Look at all this scuffed carriages action on the, uh, on the Chesapeake there. And that's uh, four tracks up to so uh, up to Sioux Falls. Shouldn't need it. They they they'll, they'll probably break apart on the way to El Paso. I'll have a look. No, they won't. No, 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 because it doesn't do that. Um, it does break apart at El Paso, but not from here. It doesn't. Uh, we'll see. So we'll we'll do our stop here. I'll, I just want to make sure that this can get through with no further queuing. Not that there's an awful lot that I can do anyway. Here's uh, autosave. Come on, when I push the button, man, I need that. I need it to happen. Um, I mean, you know, I haven't started using my DJ air horns yet, uh, and I need I need a fairly instantaneous response on that as well. I can tell you. Uh, are we now stopping at the station or what? Um, Feels like we we might be stopping at the station. I don't think we're stopping at this signal, given that the signals are good. What's that? 20 meters, 15 meters ahead of us. Don't know. Uh, when are we going to talk about rules for the next map? 
when I start the next map. Ah, I'm not giving you any spoilers. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, you're going to have to wait. Uh, you're not going to have to wait too long. It starts next week. Um, but, uh, no, I, it's, we're, we're still talking about the old school at the moment. Uh, the new school is not yet with us. Green signal. Yes. Green signal. Nothing to see ahead of us. This is promising. Uh, and obviously we're flying through... Where are we now? Detroit North. So that's good too. All right. Yeah, clean your carriages. I don't know how you expect to get big bucks for that uh, when they're so scruffy. And look, oh, hey, do I not treat you to a pleasing, uh, pleasing view once in a while? I do treat you to a pleasing view once in a while, and that was pleasing. Um, excellent. And we're now free and clear and heading out to Vancouver. This is all good. Hey, look, oh, there's a metro liner. I know you could have seen that for yourself, but, but I'm pointing it out. I'm, I'm like the five-year-old sat in the back of the car, just pointing at it. Look, trees! Um, uh, I'm here for your entertainment, and, uh, and therefore I don't want you to miss out on anything particularly. Seeing that hill is just horrendous. Um, I mean, it looks, it looks all right, it, but it's just it's woefully impractical. You'd never, you'd never actually use that. Uh, but we are now ripping along. Right, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, if we look the other way, if there's no further queuing, then uh, then we shall move on to the next. Look, here's the uh, here's the goods train coming over the flyover. Doesn't go up this way. <laughs> who who would do that? Some some mug would, I'm sure. Uh, right, this kink is a little bit too kinky, but I'm not going to re-engineer that track this because it's largely working, uh, and. We've got the same cues that we always had where you've got a bit of a gap between the, uh, the, the commuter and the main line. Um, but that's working as intended. And there's enough signals going on here uh, that people can get through. Then, of course, it splits into both lanes there as the commuter sprints off in that direction and the main line continues that way. Okay, I'm fine with that. Hold on. Train 9 and train 47 and shut up has turned up for the first time today. Hello there, shut up. Oh, hello. What's going on here? All right, this is interesting. Right, you're trying to go up there. Meanwhile, you are far from home there, cannibal. Uh, what are you doing? Where are you trying? You're trying to get to Shanghai. You're on the wrong side of the track. Um, I'm not sure when I confused you. But I obviously did, because you are... You're dreadfully confused. And if we call up the route here... Look, look at your route map. You're, you're on the wrong platform there, dude. Just, uh... And now you're causing mayhem. We're at Krakow. I've, I, you, you surely knew that already. Um, Alright, well, you're not, the, you're not the, the fault here. And you're coming through as well. And this is only going to get worse. The only solution I've got is if I can whack in... A, hold on, let's just check which way it wants to go. Up there, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, the only solution I've got is by sticking in a quickie junction there, but I don't think I've got the room to do it. Uh, right, give me some electric. We're going to have to use as much space possible, because I can't back it up, you see, because this, uh, this train only travels in one direction. And... No, see, I know there's no room. There's no room for this manoeuvre. Uh... Really, I can't. I can't go all the way to the the junction box there. Uh, if I got rid of this signal, I don't think that's going to help. But you know, it's worth a look. Too much curvature. Oh dear. Um. Right. All right. Well, let's start thinking outside the box. I could back you up. Yep. I could back you up. Hold on. Someone's got through. Uh, yeah, if I back you up a bit, I think we've got a junction that'll take them out that way. Over here somewhere. Oh, I, I didn't connect it up. Anyway, I've got a limited amount of time for you to reverse. So reverse. Alright, do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, clear off. Oh, no, 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 don't stop. No, 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 you really don't want to stop. No, there can't possibly be anything else coming. 
it's because I haven't got any signals now before this flipping crossing service. Um, so you're going to have to wait. Meanwhile, Comedy Stuart here is... I don't know why he's called Stuart, just is. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to put in signals to allow this to happen. What I'm desperately hoping, however, is that we don't get another train come up the other way. Because uh, that would be hilarious. I'll put a signal in there and maybe that will help us. Didn't. Um, put one in there and it may, maybe that will help us. It's not helped us. I'm going to put a signal in. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, bad things, bad things. Stop, cease. Stay there, right? Just stop. All right, because I've, I've got to get this clown moving a little bit further. Um, I, actually, he's not the clown. He's he's making emergency maneuvers such that we might be able to unclog this bit of track. And this is... The, the reason this has happened is because... Um, uh, of the changes at Detroit. Just so you know. Now, as soon as I've got this clear, get you out of the way, get you out of the way. And. Right, you're now clear, which means I'm going to pause because I, know, I can now turn this around the correct way again. You turn around. Yeah, yeah, turn around. There you go. Because right, I've got it just about enough room for this to work. And then we can get rid of this errant signal that I stuck in. Uh, just because that'll send the wrong message to people. We can tell you you don't need to stop anymore. Uh, this is also going to cause a problem up at the main freight hub. You've caused a lot of problems there, Stuart. Um, right, now I need you. So you're going to come off. You're going to peel off this way. And then... You've still got no way of getting onto the right side of the track, so I'm going to need to put in a little bit of a, little bit of a, an extra bit of track here, which I don't want to do, but I will do, so you can get onto the right bit of track. Right. You think the train's already left? It hasn't. Look, it's there. Look. Uh, right. Let's hit go. Now then, get onto the right bit of track. If you go the wrong way. There you go. I'll show that. There you go. There's the route it's supposed to be taking. If you go the wrong way here, I'm going to be displeased. Quite extraordinarily so. Here we go. And just change the route of the train. Not on this one. No, 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 no. Not on this. No, not on this train. No. Yeah. Because it. Because it, it. This is silly. This is a silly train. Um. I mean, look at the length of it, for starters. And then consider the fact that it only carries 94 passengers. Um, and then uh, it only goes one way. We have now got it onto the right better track. This will now work out perfectly until this train and this train behind it, there you go, uh, are both trying to enter the goods depot at the same time. Shut up is having a dilemma, as always. Good. Okay, right, that's that moving. Okay, for my next trick, uh, will this bup louded after it's live? Uh, I think you mean, will this be uploaded? Uh, but yes, it will. Well, it won't. It will, it will still be here. So the stream will stay on the channel. You can watch it through. I'm not going to edit it down or, or break it into four parts and pretend they're brand new episodes or anything like that. Honestly, only a low life would do that. Or, you know, me in my early series. Uh, no, we'll leave this in its in its pure, unadulterated form. Uh, this is Transport Fever Triple X, where the X stands for extreme. Couldn't come up with anything better. Sorry. Um, right. Okay. Good. Now then, what I was going to do next is I removed an important signal at Krakow. Did I? Uh, hello from Chile, uh, Chile, uh, Mauricio. Nice to see you. Uh, right, we got a new, we got a new class thirty-seven here, and uh, and we got the British Rail Mark Two. Oh, okay, good. Uh, we got some two nine ones, and we've got a we got a, a very grey Russian truck uh, inviting itself to the party. Meanwhile, the goods train here is still stuck. Which important signal did I remove then? I don't think I did. I think I removed the. Um, uh, the, the temporary uh, emplacement that I had temporarily emplaced 
in order to resolve things. I'm pretty certain I didn't take another one out. I mean, I say that, but, you know, it's me, right? So obviously I could have done. Um, I'm going to assume everything's fine. Although, hold on, let's, let's pull up the uh, who's going where with what. Uh, this all looks all right. This this all looks okay. I mean, I could put a signal in on there, and that would uh, that would be helpful. Uh, stick it in, in about here. That's that's not going to upset anybody. Might keep things uh, trickling along a little more smoothly, and I could probably put one over here as well. Beep beep, and uh, and I could probably put one there too. Beep beep. Um, but no, that looks all right. Unless uh, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, x equals uh, is greater than two or equal than the number of times uh, Mrs. Megan's house has been developed. You're, you're quite correct. Uh, the one you removed, the initial crossover. Uh, I did. You're not wrong. Um, yes, well done. Excellent. Good spot. I did. You're not wrong. Uh, I shall. I shall redeploy that now. Stick that back in there. There you go. Excellent. Right. I haven't stopped you, have I? You're just waiting for a path. No, oh, here you go. See, click on it, and it kind of goes quick before he bulldozes us uh, and gets rolling. Um, all right, smashing. Good. Now then, for my next trick, there, chums, uh, we're going to look at... No, I don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this is the alternate Profitron here, so we can we can look at who the, the worst offenders are for actually making me money. Look at all this lot. Oh, I could despair on those. Uh, but actually, when you look at these, you kind of go like, ooh, tasty. Um, but actually, what I'm after is these. So we've got some uh, vehicles here uh, require updating. So we've got the Wellington Goods Distribution. You need an update. Uh, Wellington Road Shunting. Uh, obviously, well, uh, Wellington is being treated as the, uh, as the end of the world in some fashion. Uh, goods Bulk is a train. That needs updating as well. All right, we'll bring that up. I'm going to do five at a time, I think. Uh, train 80, International Lumber. And uh, no, 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 let's, let's do those three, and then we'll come back and do the next ones. Right, so goods distribution. Let's head out there now. Hello, welcome to Wellington. Uh, look at all our lovely dirt roads. We're so proud of them here in 1987. Um, and uh, what we're going to do with these is, I think we'll just put some, some Volvos on there. I mean, who doesn't like a Volvo? I, mean, I, I bet Onion Jack's in here somewhere. Um, but uh, but there we go. 600 viewers, eh? Cool. -hoo. Tasty. Uh, welcome, 600 viewers. Uh, it's, it's, it's very splendid to see you. Uh, right, now then, let's uh, bang in a Volvo Universal. What can you handle? No, you can't, you can't handle Universal. There, there, there's a Universal here somewhere. This carries everything other than logs and uh, ore and coal. Unless I'm mistaken. Am I missing anything else? I don't think I am. Those will do nicely. A, a, a four times two platform tarpaulin job. Or we got the box, which does the same thing. Actually, they're more fun, aren't they? Uh, or we've got the little... The little shorty box there but actually carrying 35 that could be a laugh let's bang it in i think it's just end products that we're shipping here they're only half a million quid each um but i've only got three of them so i'm i'm fine with that right that's uh way into goods distribution um meanwhile the road shunting we've got quite a few of these right we'll put a shorty on this one uh and hopefully it'll be a, a relatively universal tile tile short one uh my goodness me. Um, uh, Kamek, uh, GCT, hello to you too. Calm down. Uh, there we go. I mean, there's a lot of capital letters in there. Uh, hi, though. Uh, good. Um, yes, now then, right, you hear this, that, do it, hit the button, activate. And we're away. Two million quid, fine, I'll spend it. Um, now, to be honest... We probably don't need that kind of capacity here in Wellington. We're going to stick around long enough to uh, uh, to look at it, do the thing in a moment, or, or look at these shiny new trucks that we've got. Uh, we then have the goods bulk, which arrives here. Saying this, however, look at this lot. That's not bad, is it? 
That's doing quite nice, dude. So we've got a little Alco on there at the moment. I could just replace that. I quite like the little Alco. I always miss it when it's gone. Although I've got a BR that could sit in it. I think that's shut up. That's still... Yeah, it is. Um, uh, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, oh, we've actually got the Class 291, which just turned up. And we've got it in, uh, in a, a pleasing turquoise. Uh, or a slightly less pleasing, but obviously more beefy red uh, that we could play with there. Um, so that would that would work too. Uh, aerial media solutions. Um, you need to learn to spell. Um, but beyond that, just don't. Caps aren't cool, dude. Uh, my uh, my janitors will will swoop upon you and uh, and drop things from a great height. Uh, right there we go. Now then, uh, we shall go with. Uh, we'll go with the pleasing turquoise. Now, what do we think? Do we? What's the difference between these? Other than a number at the end of it. Oh, well, it's, this is new. Hold on, these are newer still. Why are these newer still? A Deutsches Bundesbahn. Eighty. The existing uh, the existing Alco is doing sixty five ish. So yeah, we'll have one of them. And current capacity that's forty eight. So that's sixty in total that we're hoiking around at the moment. Let's go for. Uh, did you ever notice the power ratio for the trains on the cargo? I think some of your freight trains will be lacking in power. They are, but usually I've got a, a fairly reasonable idea of how much they need to be hauling. So I only, I only tend to put... Look at that. Uh, we're going to have a closer look at that in a minute. Um, I only tend to put the weaker locos on, uh, on, on consists that don't actually have to hoik that much around. Uh box cars. Is there anything here I can't carry? I don't think so. I think we'll be good. Do we like box cars? I don't think... No, actually, it's, this is a German, so I, that, I mean, that's an American box car. Whew, I doubt, doubt I'd, been, I'd have been lit up for that. Oh, hello! Container wagons! God, don't, don't wrap it, I'll ride it home. Um, what can't you carry? You can't carry fuel. Are we doing any fuel at the moment? Yes, we are. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, maybe I'll just... I'll stick a... Right, let's have one of them. And then we'll have one of these. And uh, and one of those as well. And then I'll stick a... I'll stick a fuel wagon behind it. That'll do it, right? Modern fuel tanker. Uh, we'll stick... One. Two. Slightly odd consist, but that'll do nicely. Uh, we'll stick that to auto-replace. Bang it on. Yes, make it happen. Okay, that's going to look a bit weird, but we're going to hang around and look at it, obviously. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, let's all appreciate the Volvo with uh, with a Series Two uh, Colonel Failure logo on the side. Of it. In fact, that's, no, that's not. That's a Series One Colonel Failure logo. I must do the. Se we're in Series Three now. The current bulldozer. It's the it's the bulldozer. There's the giveaway. Um, uh, I'll do a Series Three logo to download on the workshop for the next uh, for the next one. How is Shut Up and the Kids? It's currently quiet, look. See, so it, it just has to be patient. Uh, do I have the EMD mod? Someone asked a moment ago. I think so. I think I've got the EMD 7. I think I've got it in there somewhere. Um, we'll need front and rear if you want them to look right. Oh, really? I did not know that. There we go. Anyway, look, here we go. And there she blows. Wow, that's quite funky. Ah, also, I think this must be the first time I've used this particular container mod. I didn't, because uh, previous ones I've used always look like they're full, whether they're running full or not. Uh, that These ones don't show the containers if they're not carrying anything. That's rather splendid. And they're Deutsche Bahn uh, wagons anyway, and this is a Deutsche Bahn train, so hooray. Um, I would add another one onto there, but I'm not sure I need it. Let's uh, let's see. We uh, it's reputed to get up to eighty, uh, so let's see what sort of what sort of momentum we can get there. And let's if we swing this window so it's not in a, a terrible place. I'll stick it behind my head here, because uh, we'll we'll you know we'll appreciate the little journey. There you go. Are you appreciating the little journey? I'm appreciating it. There you go. Not a not a massive amount waiting at the moment, but it's it's kind of tied to the uh, the international deliveries, and when they arrive, well, we'll sit here and just wait for it to majestically swoop past. 
Brace yourselves. There's a majestic swoop. Very nice indeed. Uh, where well, we got up to 62. So it's no slower than the Alco was. Uh, maybe by like that much slower. Um, but it should be. It should be okay. Um, oh, someone, someone's had a train dropped on them. Um, uh, nice work there, janitorial staff. Uh, right, here we go. Now, I was just, I was just singing your praises about when you, maybe the container only shows up if it's running completely full. Because, uh, as you probably can't see, it's running three whole items on there at the moment. So be it. Uh, right, okay, good. Well, that's that solved. Moving on to the next trains or or whatever that needs upgrading. Uh, Norig the pig. I uh, love the series never called live stream. Well, you have now. Um, right, okay, next group of... Uh, let's, let's, let's talk here. Uh, train 30, Brussels to Vancouver. Now, this is a profitable service running 126 at the moment. So, uh, so let's go and have a look at that. This is what we're going to do for the time being, is we're, we're going to rattle through looking at the oldest trains we've got in service and, uh, and upgrading them. Now, yeah, now this is, uh, I mean, it's 1987, and this one is powered by steam, uh, but we're allowing it because it's quite quick. Um, it's, uh, it's reasonably, I say quite quick, it's doing 75 kilometers an hour. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty profitable, and it looks very lovely indeed in red. What's, uh, what is not to like? Um, uh, the small truck two players can't carry stone and they are a stone shunting service. Really? Let's have a look. I, I was going to, I'll be back for you in a minute. Uh, we, we need to go check out the, uh, the stone here, which is going to be over here somewhere. It is a stone chunching service. You're not wrong. Have I just have I uh, have I just pooched this a little? Hello there. Yes, road shunting. There is stone waiting. Look. Oh. Oh dear. Yes, you're right. Uh, thank you. That's a that's a great catch right there. Um, okay, good. You're fired. Uh, okay, we need something that takes stone. Does it need to do anything else? Yes, it needs to do all kinds of odds and ends. So we need a, a universal, but also one that can uh, that can handle a bit of stone. Like you can't. Oh, don't make me choose something other than... I'm like, how many flaming Volvos have I got here? Onion Jack's a man possessed. Uh, all Volvo, all Volvo, all those, all day. Or get out. Uh, I mean that says there is a there is a Volvo here for every situation, but I think we might uh, we might end up going with the Peterbilt, you know, because it uh, it does it all. It just does, and I know it's boring because it comes with the main game, but if it handles the works, what do you do? No. Nope. How about you? No. Nope. How about this one? No. Nope. And this one? No. Nope. Uh, you, we definitely know, don't. Okay, so unless I want to go stone dedicated, which I don't, because it has to carry other stuff as well, and that's one of the things that we'll be addressing in the next series. But I'm not talking about that now, so I'll stop. There you go, Peter built time. There you go. Yeah, give me, do it, make it happen. Thank you. Good. Otherwise, we'll break all kinds of things. Uh, we have seen the butterfly effect of this stuff previously, um, where. Uh, uh, where we're just halting the supply of goods from one bit has completely hosed it, uh, 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 like multiple other routes. There you go. I know it's a I know it's a default truck, but it's still a good looking default truck. As it heads off into the distance. Thank you. That was a good catch. Right now then, back to the Mister Steam Train, and uh, and the removal thereof. Come here. No. Come here. Yes. Peekaboo. Now then, Brussels to the Couve. Uh, is, is it a fully electrified route? Where are we currently? Grand Junction. Really? That seems like an odd way to go. Okay, uh, GW West. No, GJ. GJ West. 
All right, so we stop through GJ West, and then we head out to Bruxelles on a non-electrified bit of track. Oh, and therein lies the challenge, unless we electrify it. Now, I know that uh, Grand Junction West is electrified. Um, what about the route all the way up to uh, up to Vancouver? I've done a little bit, but that wouldn't be atypical of me to only do a little bit of it. Let's uh, let's have a look and see if the full shebang has got uh, got the electric zap in juice. This is Brussels, of course. Um, all right, Leo. Yeah, let's uh, let's upgrade this, and because uh, I've got far more kind of multiple unit uh, electrical stuff, and I've still got some some uh, individuals electrical bits. Um, is uh, the, the, the waiting to be deployed. Uh, Bacardi best enjoyed with some kernel failure. I think that might be my first corporate sponsor. Someone, someone get Bacardi on the horn. Uh, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Uh, now then, let's... Uh, you know what? I'm going to electrify all of this. And this is Brussels, crying out loud. You know, this is the, the land of, of modern electricity or something. Uh, here we go. I mean, honestly... Uh, that'll do nicely. Right, good. Now, bang all of this in. Zoom out a bit so we can do a bit more at once. And keep it going. Yes. And that bit. So I'm, being, I'm being foxed by the fact that the top track is also green, which means I also missed this bit. Yeah, you've got to get up earlier in the morning than that to catch me out. You've got to get up at at least quarter past seven. Uh, right, and... Uh, yeah, a bit of this, some of that. And then this bit is electrified. I knew I'd done that somewhere. I knew I'd electrified one bit of something somewhere, but not something else somewhere else. Yeah, see, I'm very precise in the things that I do and don't know. And then we continue out this way until we hit Vancouver, which is, should be electrified. And it should be electrified because it is electrified. Hooray for us and all who sail in us. Uh, good. Right. Let's get rid of that. And then let's go and find a train we like the looks of. Oh, I like train shopping. Now, I've only got 40, 45. I've got 45 million. Um, how many trains are we talking about here? Uh, two. Oh, I'm sure we can find 20 million quids worth of train that'll make it work. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm virtually, virtually certain virtually certain that we can uh, that we can make this work right now then let's uh let's go shopping as you'll see i i brought this up earlier on uh, we don't need to wait for this to wait uh, to uh, to load uh right electricals the mp70 passenger car uh, it was the first double deck rail car in america uh, why have i not come across this before when was it introduced uh year of insert from 32 why have i not seen this before did i only just add this recently doesn't seem like me. Uh, anyway, we've got some of those. And we've got the power car that goes with it. Slightly nutty kind of a uh, kind of a train. Right, what have we got in the modern? Now, we've got the Japanese stuff. The passenger capacity is gargantuan. Um, I mean, even the, the short one. Now, 110 kilometers an hour is not that quick. I mean, that's only about 70 miles per hour there or thereabouts uh we've got this er2r uh where are you from uh regus uh wagen uh rupnica rvr good glad to hear it um what do you do 120 decent capacity uh isn't going to break the bank not very quick i'd like something is it dutch now, for crying out loud, I've got Dutch stuff all over the place. I, mean, I don't mind, but uh, every time I think I've got something new, it turns out it's flipping Dutch again. Uh, right, okay, now then, let's uh, let's have a look at the, the other end of things, because people were complaining that I didn't use the, uh, the EMD AEM7, uh, which I shall now use, because it does 201 kilometers an hour. Hmm. That's more like it, and then I've got some uh, some suitable coaches to go with that as well. I think. Uh, where are we? Uh, do 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 do. We could bombardier them. Stick the pilot. I said they only do one forty. Uh, given that we're capable of two hundred kilometers an hour, I'd 
and try and do something with that. Uh, we should, I mean, we could go with the uh, the West Fleet, which I think is the correct wagon, coach, passenger car to go with. Uh, what do I like the looks of? This one has a lot of writing. This one has, oh no, these, these are too slow. We'll use this one that doesn't have too much writing. All right. And then we shall add, uh, what was the current capacity? 126, I think we've got on there right now. It's fine. Uh, maybe a few more, though. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's 101. 6, 126. It wasn't 101, it was 105. So, that's 126. So, that's, uh, that's matching capacity. Let's bang two more on. Because I feel like it. Good. 26 million each. Have I just bought this? No, I haven't. I'm telling it's a replacement. Uh, we've just ticked past the start of the month. So if I stick replacements on, press the replace button. Yeah. There we go. We, we are, I actually got decent cash back off the uh, off the, the Steam Locos that we're running on there at the moment. Which I was quite surprised. Oh, no, no, hold on. No, I only managed to, I only managed to replace one of them. Oh, that's a downer. Um, because that's going to give me inconsistent pricing on the line. Uh, which isn't which isn't entirely uh, entirely brilliant. Oh well, not a problem. Um, okay, so good. Now then, I want us to switch over and we'll have a we'll have a quickie look at it and uh, and see how it's uh, see how it's performing. In fact, we'll follow along the existing train. Why are you moving so slowly? What are you waiting for? It's making a it's making a good amount of noise though. Oh yeah, oh that's lovely. Uh, it's all well and good to say the train can go two hundred kilometres per hour, but half the map is covered with massive junctions with only do sixty kilometres an hour. Uh, yes, that may be so, um, but uh, but your ticket price doesn't take that into consideration, unless it does, in which case, sir. Uh, so bit. Um, no switch due to no electric. No, no, no. It, it's it's allowed it. It's allowed it through. It wouldn't have allowed me to press the button. I checked Rill instead of Vancouver. Can't rule that out. And then we got uh, some some electric starting. Oh no! You're all telling me now that I've I've missed the I've 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 hosed I've hosed the electric upgrade. Okay. Shall I tell you what? We're we're following it along anyway. Uh, let's see the point at which uh, everything goes horrendously wrong. I've got no electric to Vancouver. Yep, 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 yep. I'm, I'm gradually getting that kind of a sense. Uh, but we'll we'll find out. And, and frankly, if we're retiring one of the, the last remaining steam locos, although I'm certain I've still got big boys running all over the flipping place because they're just so ubiquitous. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I got that too. Thank you, James. Yes, I went to Rill. I didn't get... It's done it. Maybe Vancouver was already ready, or maybe this is about to tell me it's got no path electric. Hey, look at that! It's told me it's got no path electric. Let's hit the road. Uh, right? Okay. Fine. Good. Well, you know, you came here to see business as usual. You thought, oh, will it be the same watching him do it live as uh, as this the the pre-recorded stuff that we love so much? Answer: Yes, it'll be exactly the flip insane. Uh, right, where's Vancouver? It's over here, look. Right, upgrade all of this. Oh, that's a that's a nice piece of recent building going on there. Oh, didn't I do that nicely? I did, since you're asking. Um, okay, good, fine. This, this is going to take no time at all. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the lack of money that I've got at the moment, but uh, I have checked, and I am overall profitable year to year. Vancouver Station is not electrified. Oh, no. And I'm going to start removing buildings, which seems excessive given that I'm just putting up some pylons. Um, but okay, fair. So be it. Right, we've done the station. Station's done. Might as well do this side as well. That train's now making a noise. Uh, it is the noise of a train that is vindicated uh, and available to uh, to live up to its very fullest potential. Um, or rather, it means that I've given it the juice. It has the juice now and it is able to go. 
Um, I might as well complete the electrification between here and Rill. Uh, since I've done some of it, I might as well finish it off. There we go. I, I apparently have started going that way as well. Who's giving me? Hold on, we've got a we've got a red signal going on in there. I'll have a look at that in just a mo. Everything else seems to be fine. Right, good. Hello, Train Eleven. Who are you then? You're the Sioux Falls Main Line. Well, that's nice for you. Why now? Why have you sudden? How did you even do this to yourself? Um. I, I can't find my way to uh, to Detroit Grand Central. He says, from Vancouver. You're in Vancouver. That's fine. That's where you're supposed to be. That's the end of the line for the main line. Yeah, that's all good. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Which, and I've already fixed this. Why don't you, have you only just got here? Turn around. Because the way to get to, uh, uh, to Detroit is um, it's the other way. Kind of got oh, buff buffers. I can't possibly make it. Kind of, yeah, it's it's the other way down the track, mate. You've done it often enough. I mean, I know I I foxed you a little with my my recent changing in platform numbering, but fundamentally, you shouldn't be struggling here. You crouton. Go on, trot on. No, that one seems to be trotting on. Uh, I await with uh, great anticipation. Uh, the next, uh, the next idiot train. Right here we go. We are now, uh, we're now happily motoring. I, I was about to say you're happily motoring up the wrong track, but it's not. Uh, this is the end of the line coming into Vancouver with 83 passengers on board, of 168. Hopefully, you take back a few more than that, because uh, otherwise you're not going to make any money anymore, are you? And, and it will make uh, my having upgraded from Steam. Just look a little, uh, a little, uh, a little foolhardy, given that the steam train was actually making a profit. Um, now we're going to ride on board this one for a little bit because uh, I want to see how close to the 200 kilometer an hour uh, alleged uh, speed blistering pace limit system uh, it can actually get. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Are we actually going to fill it? We have. We've got everybody on board. Turn around. Get on board. Let's rock. All right, full load, end the Grand Junction. Upgrade the second train uh, on the line, don't forget, I will. Uh, I'm on, I'll need a little bit more cash, I think. Although it is set to auto-replace, straight through the trees, brilliant. Uh, get them stuck underneath the pantograph, it makes it go faster. Uh, it should auto-replace, but these hadn't actually aged out yet, so there was still some running time available on the on the Steam logos, but they were the oldest thing we still had. Um, uh, hashtag you crouton. Yeah, absolutely. Soup nugget uh, is, the, uh, is the colloquial term for a crouton, of course. Um, good. Now then, right, 168 on board. Uh, here we go. We're currently doing 95 kilometers an hour. Well, would you smell that speed? Uh, I mean, that's that's going to set your face alight, isn't it? Come on, you're, you're made of electricity. You're supposed to have tremendous levels of torque. Uh, forget the uh, the passenger comfort and just, you know, hammer it. Uh, if you need tutorials, watch some of my train sim videos. I'll show you how to drive a train. Flipping heck. I mean, you know, I might have trouble stopping, but I don't have any trouble going. Obviously, once I've found the button that makes it go. Uh, right, up to 120 now. Really? And we're slowing down. Come on, that was not a 120 kilometer an hour bridge, surely. It looked like it, it was a 200 limiter. Still going, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to refer to this locomotive as being gutless any second. Oh, feel the wind in your hair, folks. 130 kilometers an hour. Oh, steady on. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, Richard Stevenson, good evening. Uh, you crouton, air dogs. I started it. You're, you're not allowed to just start bandying the word crouton around without due cause and attention. Uh, right, here we come into Grand Junction West. There seems to be a fair few passengers waiting for us. Uh, and, uh, and that's just lovely. The question, though... Is going to be how much does this earn? We have to look in the little window. 
and 284 grand. Respectable. Um, good, okay, that's probably going to pay off. Let's see if the other one has been queued to replace. It hasn't, of course, so we'll do replace now. Yes. Not enough money. Yes, there is. You said it was 25.4. I got more than that. There you are. Have it. Right, I'm out of money. Good times. Good times. Very good times. Oh dear. Uh, right, there we go. So here comes the uh, here comes the noisy uh, the noisy steam. It's very pretty though. I, it's, it's a shame to see it go. Although I tell you, this uh, this uh, EM AMD EMI uh, MDMA uh, electric number in uh, in red and silver. Uh, is uh, is mighty pleasing on the eye. Yeah, it is. It's a number seven, and uh, and it's red. Good. There we go. Get yourself upgraded there, son, and uh, and everything will be groovy. Meanwhile, who's this? Where are you? Where are you off to there? Class, I assume, forty-seven. Emma King. That's not the name of the train. Ah, you can't fool me. Uh, so the Detroit Wolves High Altitude, 208 passenger capacity. Very nice. This is uh, this is jolly splendid. Grand. Uh, loving it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I'm going to assume those are making some cash, but let's have a look at the uh, at the general. Oh, what was the straw poll? I never saw the, the poll getting started. Uh, yes says 14, no says 55. Oh. Uh, someone fill me on. What was the, what was the poll that you were running? I, I missed it while I was, uh, while I was elsewhere. Because, uh, uh, it sounds like there's a lack of confidence going on out there, and, uh, I'm not sure I hold with it. Um, oh, was that the, am I going to pay off all the port barrels by the end of the stream? Because, in which case, I'd, I'd put me down for no as well. Um, Right, okay, so this year we have, uh, we brought in 241, okay, running costs 232. Oh, oh, that's, well, that's, that's unattractive, isn't it? Um, that's very unattractive, especially considering that a couple, oh no, hold on, we made 146 million that year, and then you look up and you're going to go, yeah, you did sell 233 million quid's worth of trains. Okay, all right. So it's it's not looking it's not looking good. The pork barrel. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Um, um, currently, running costs are outstripping the amount of income we made. I'm going to go for some of that is going to be down to uh, trains having been stopped for a bit. Uh, right, okay, who's who's doing it? Who, that, that's that's the next the next thing is like I need to be able to point at the screen and yell Jacques. Uh intriguingly, the Metropolis Cannibal is no longer the uh, the least cost efficient train I have. Although given that it's got seven hundred and change passengers on board and is still losing money, that's shocking. Uh who else is uh, is a pain in the bum? Uh, the Sioux Falls Main Line. Interestingly, they, they, it pays really well, but nobody wants to ride on it. So I could drop one off there, but that will drop the uh, the frequency. Don't really want to do that. It's all these flaming passenger services. Uh, El Paso bulk freight has dropped off the uh, the edge of the cliff a little as well, and that used to be a really good earner. In fact, all of these bulk freight services used to be great. Which leads me to believe that I've got a problem getting freight to the hub. Uh, shorten the cannibal to a single unit. I don't think that's going to work, though. Um, uh, did I unpause the goods train outside Krakow? I'm certain I did. But let's check anyway. Ha. Huh. Uh, right. Uh, did -did 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 -ding. And. Yes, I did. Yeah, it was here. Now it's not. Therefore, it has either overridden my car. Hold on, what's going on here? Why are you lot having a crisis? 
Are you waiting for a clip? Yeah, what's going on here? Are you all coming? In? You are all coming into one platform, aren't you? Well, that's 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 delightful. Uh, right, what colours have we got here? We got uh, we've got turquoise and we've got black, and they are both going into the same platform. Now I wonder if no, because you've got you've got two lines going into the next one as well. However, what if we used the currently unused platform number? Whatever number that is. Have I got this junction et slipped up to the max? I think I have. Yes, I have. All right, okay. In which case, let's pull whatever turquoise is. That could work. Uh, just to keep things, you know, keep moving along and uh, and we make uh, we make slightly better money. Uh, right. Is it black? We'll look at Yes, it is. It's black and it's turquoise. Oh, what do you know? It's the chuffing cannibal. Uh, let's change that to a yellow for a moment. And then you go out that way. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. I get you. I'm feeling it. Oh, we've got three going in on that track. Well, no wonder it's not working. Um, right. Well, given that I run a lot of cannibals, we'll, we'll bung that in on a slightly different uh, platform. So, Shanghai, you're in one. So, I want you in three. Shanghai, Plateau, three. There you go. There you are. Right. Now, that should... It's going to help like that much, but it's but it is going to help a little bit. Um, I am running a lot of these though. Maybe I should just replace them all with something else. Uh, given that I've got two of each one on there, I might be able to chop it for something a little bit cheaper uh, and potentially make me money back while running a better service. Let's have a look. Right. So at the moment we're running this. I mean, this will be the second replacement for these. So right now, I'm running, and it's diesel, isn't it? Yeah, I'm running these uh, VT175s, which do 160. Uh, and that's a downgrade from the HST that was on there originally that was putting me out of business. Um, so we're talking diesel. We could go, uh, we could just put class 101s on there, really downgrade it. Um, they're a lot cheaper. I mean, they are a lot cheaper. What are, how much? Six. They're half price. Don't know. Uh, you say scrap the cannibal. I'm I'm thinking you need some air quotes to actually see. I'll I'll find a reason to air quote. Um, I like it though. See, I mean that's the thing. It's because it's it's a bit weird to be used, um, and I and I quite like it as a result. I'm hoping Shanghai Station is big enough for it to pull into. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but, you know, it wouldn't be the first time I tried to get something too large in there. Uh, right, we've got the F7A. Uh, known to rail fans as covered wagons. Uh, the EMD F series was the diesel that did it. Okay. I've not used these before because this is a recent addition. You've got them in green, you've got them in red. Southern green or Pennsylvania red. All right. Well, these uh, these all run. They run a little bit faster than what I'm, I've got at the moment. Uh, the running cost is is so so. Eh. Yes. Uh, to be honest, they they are just a little bit old as well. Um. That I mean, there is that. But you know what? They are the they are the loco that could do the job. We got the reversed one. We've got a power unit kind of deal going on here i don't know um maybe i do maybe i don't uh just stick a less expensive loco on there i should just put a less expensive logo yeah put a less expensive logo on it um yeah potentially i should use the emd i can't because it's not an electrified route uh otherwise i'd i'd be i would actually be tempted to do so or you're thinking the the gp9 that's way too slow I don't think you're meaning the GP9, no, are you? I don't think you are. The, the part of me says, uh, should the colonel scrap the cannibal? Asks uh, Nightbot and Plastic Vicar by extension. What about the Zephyr? I have never made good money with uh, with the Pioneer Zephyr, which is, at this stage, uh, I don't know, pretty ancient. Uh, instituted in 1934. It's nice and quick, 
yes. Uh, but it only carries 52 passengers and its running costs are the best part of a million a year. So what you want is a couple of stations that are really far apart uh, and shuttling between two or three stops to kind of make that happen. Dutch diesel. Thank you, Pix. Um, I don't think so. Uh, in traditional, replace it with a bus service. It's very tempting. Um, yeah, okay. So the future of the cannibal is now, Ed, I'll leave it for the moment. We'll, uh, we'll let the straw poll decide. Uh, we are, however, making a bit more money now, which is coming as something of a relief. 309 in, 290 out. Fine. We're just about to hit the end of the month, though, so, uh, uh, so we'll take a bit, of a, a bit of a hit on that in moments. That said, we are missing quite a lot of good train view here, which I've just obstructed by picking a lousy location to look at it. Uh, right. You are the Orient Express, and I suspect you are costing me a fair wedge as well. 120 some odd on board of 490, but somehow it's only lost me four and a half million. I'm, I I can't complain about that too much. How have you only lost me that much? I, I was always under the impression that uh, the TGV uh, was uh, was a license to go out of business. Uh, El Paso East, Krakow. It's an unusual place for it to start, El Paso East. But nobody wants to ride it. Despite the fact it's the fastest thing I've got. Now, whether the track allows it to, to get up to speed or not... Um, okay, the straw poll results say 35 people say I should kill the cannibal. Uh, 14 say no, I shouldn't. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, it's conclusive, obviously. Uh, and we've got this nice Russian number here, which is doing very nice indeed. You're making money. Overall, yes. Currently, no. But that's just because we rolled past the end of the month. It's only 30 grand in debt. Okay. Well, if we were to kill the cannibal, let's have a look and see what it's actually costing me. Um, so it's costing me uh, 7 million to keep in business, but it's also killing off other lines. So if I were to get rid of it, then we might reinstitute the other lines. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm having it happen. It's it's going to happen. Um, yeah, we're killing the main line. No, we're not killing the main line. We're killing the, 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 the cannibal. It's a glorious route, well thought out, presented on a napkin. I'm killing it off. Come here. Do this. What are you actually, what are you trying to accomplish? Find the button that kills it off. It lives under roots. There we go. You've got too many things open here, and there's trains going on in the background, and you're just ignoring it. I'm not to be trusted. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Mur, 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 metropolis, cannibal. Right, you lot. This is going to cause chaos. Uh, send all vehicles to the depot. Send all vehicles to the depot and get sold. Bye! And then, uh, and then for a, for a follow-up to that, uh, delete the route. They've gone. I've no idea where they are. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll wait until this starts flashing, and then we'll know uh, that uh, that one of my trains has come unstuck. Now, now, what's the betting? In fact, I'm not even taking this as a bet. Um, uh, what's the betting? They're all going towards the hub depot rather than uh, uh, rather than the main passenger depot down at Sioux Falls. You don't need to answer that. We all know that they're all going that way. Um, and what, and almost certainly some of them are, are currently working their way up the line the wrong way. Now, given that there were about t uh, eight, ten, there were a lot of them. There you go. That's good. Right, now then. You're parked up. Okay. Nope, you're, you're now moving. That's good. That's uh, TGV, so that's all good too. All right, let's go and see who's inbound. This one, nobody. This one, nobody. This one, nobody. It's not going to tell me here. You have to do it on there. They're all going to Freight Interchange Depot Alpha. Cool. Uh, right. There we go. Let's find one who is uh, who is already causing mischief. Right, you. You look like you're you're causing trouble. Right, where where are you and what are you doing? Oh, there we go. We've got a we've got a one, and I wonder if it's this one. This is train seventy, train twenty seven, and train seventy. 
Train 70, are you trying to go up the line the wrong way? I think you probably are, aren't you? Yeah, look at this chap. Just just trying to do his job. And, and you're, you're just ruining it for everybody. I'll flip. We're just outside Barcelona. Um, and, uh, oh, this is, this is just wretched. Uh, you're on the wrong side of the track. If I double slip that. Fixed with one click. Oh, yeah, didn't think it would work. They're driving through each other now. Don't worry about that. They're very friendly. Um, but yeah, okay, good. It won't be the last. No, no, we'll, we'll see some more. Uh, if uh, if you ever doubt your bridge building, look up uh, Mala Rijeka, uh, highest rail bridge in Europe. Okay, I might just do that. Um, right, cool, good, good, and once again, cool. Uh, let us ride with the cowboy here and see how we get on. Now, I'm hoping that once we've retired all of these, in fact, before they even get back to the depot. Uh, there's a very real chance that the main line recovers uh, itself from the uh, problems that we're having. And let's not forget, we opened this evening's stream uh, rebuilding Detroit so that we could accommodate the cannibal. We're now retiring the cannibal. I spent all my money on building that station, and, uh, and now we probably don't need it. These sound baffles are arguably overkill, uh, given that there is actually no buildings anywhere to be seen nearby. Uh, but, uh, hey, it's, uh, it's quite scenic, isn't it? Uh, anyway, we're rattling along at, uh, at around 100 kilometres an hour. Come on! I'm looking forward to some routes that are a little bit longer, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, but, uh, but there we go. Hello, Ryan. Lovely to see you. Uh, so, message there is, can't build a metropolis? Can build a metropolis? No problem. I haven't built one. That's neither here nor there. Can build one, totally. You've seen it. I've built some Metropolis type stuff uh, going on. I just never got stuck into it. Uh, the, uh, the the aspiration has become ironic. The uh, the titling has, has become somewhat of a misnomer. Uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't imply a level of ability. Uh, or not, as it is. We need to go back in time to tell us not to change Detroit. We do, but too late for that now. Anyway, coming up on uh, uh, Beirut, Barcelona. Well, which which way are we going to go here? Are you going to choose uh, a route that is unsuitable? You've chosen this one. I couldn't tell you off the back of me head, back of, off the back of me my head. Don't know uh, whether this was uh, this was the right way to go or not. One-way signals solve a lot of this. I reckon we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the mega junction here, um, which is nice. Uh, it's lovely when anybody uses it. Frankly, here we go. Here it comes. And yes, uh, and then the next opportunity for this train to foul up everything entirely is going to be when it merges onto the uh, onto the main line that heads down towards Krakow. What do you think? I, I don't think it's going to cause too much of a trouble. It, it, it really depends which way we go, although it looks like we're going the wrong way. Now, that junction we just came round, it did have the opportunity to get onto those lines that we're seeing over to the left there. Um, it chose not to, which means it's, it's going to try and go towards Brussels, possibly, which would be an odd choice. Although, I do think that this outside line that we're on here could possibly whiz round. Uh, consolidate your passenger lines to faster rail. I could. Um, uh, that's kind of what we're working on, to be honest. But but faster is... Uh... Oh no, hold on, we crossed over. Okay, good. I hope we've crossed over onto the right one. Here's autosave. Uh, keeping our bacon secure... Uh, should the uh, unnecessary arrive, uh, arise, or uh, something, um, and uh, and then we'll be able to recover from it. This train is is uh, it's not setting the kind of pace uh, that makes me go, oh well, this is a bit special, isn't it? 
And given I've got six variants of this particular consist, um, uh, I'm not a believer. Anyway, here we go. On to the main line. Now's our opportunity to really snarl things up again. I wouldn't have chosen this one. I would have gone on the uh, on the outside there, or you could get uh, you could get mixed up in Krakow's traffic. Uh, there goes the international goods delivery service. Yeah, you see, if you'd gone on the other line, we wouldn't be waiting now. I'd love to be able to just rotate my head and see what we're waiting on. I'm hoping it's not a big fat goods delivery service. Uh, sounds like a class 37, whatever it is. Uh, let's have a look. It is a big fat international goods delivery service. Anyway, we've got uh, the uh, comes with the game, whatever that's called. Uh, we've got that now. That's nice. And actually, that's that's not a halfway bad uh, uh, passenger service. Uh, anyway, we're, we're letting this Alco go through. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why we're giving it priority. In fact, we got, you know, both Alcos are just kind of going, thanks very much, lads. Yeah. Very much appreciated. We've got a European train and a, and a British train just kind of going, oh, no, no, no. We'll let the Americans through. I just, you could make a political statement about that. I'm obviously not, because, you know, I'm not an idiot. Um, and then we're, we're just generally waiting for stuff to 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 gestate uh, at this junction. And then we've got a ruddy, enormous, uh, big boy hauled food train, which is currently packing 504 loaves of bread, uh, which apparently will feed quite a large population. Uh, in the meantime, I think you'll notice we're, we're now up to 68 million quid in the bank. Uh, we ended up actually only seven and a bit million down last year. 382 coming in. Uh, 350, let's say, going out. So a profit of 30 some odd. It's not brilliant, is it? Um, uh, but, you know, I'm not, it, 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 not going to be sniffy about it. It could be better, it could be worse. Um, right, good. Uh, let's have a look and see how many uh, how many trains we're still waiting for. One, two, three, four, five. Is that five or is that six? Five. We're waiting on five uh, to get in here and be sold. And there's one now. There's another one now. Good. Get yourselves cleaned out there. Uh, and so obviously that will bolster the finances a little as well. But what we should see is a, a return to form for the uh, for the Sioux Falls mainline. Fingers crossed. Possibly Sioux Falls, Brussels, possibly Vancouver, Wellington as well, given that, that uh, the, the, the cannibal was thus named because it did eat everybody else's lunch and then ate them as well. Uh, right, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a quick breather, get a drink in me, and uh, and respawn my brain. Uh, what would you like to look at in the uh, in the interim, I think the goods hub, while watching those those lads come in, there's just not a lot happening up here at the moment, which is unusual, because usually this is a, a hive of activity. I'll tell you what, I'll take you to New Detroit, uh, and you can hang out there. Uh, no, wait, wait, and then New Detroit is here. Uh, that, 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 that jerkiness was at my end there. We're, we're just uh, just slightly pain. Get rid of this tree. Yeah. Right. I'm going to leave you train spotting here for a moment. Uh, I shall be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Jolly good. Right, back again, uh, and uh, we're, uh, we're we're back and we're rolling. We're flying. And I've I've jumped on board the uh, the main line uh, to see what happens. Fundamentally, I could have left you doing this, but uh, but we'll see. Grand. Uh, now then, fifty three on board. That's just not good. But we do have one hundred and thirty eight million now. Uh, that's a little bit more like it, and I mean, as and as much as seventy of that or seventy-five of that has come from selling trains, uh, the rest of it hasn't. The rest of it has come from me making real, actual, genuine profit from something uh, train-related. Running costs eighty-five, income eighty-six. I can't maths. Uh, all of that has come from selling trains. Oh well, that's a that's a pity, isn't it? We're in March. Uh, I think we're on target to uh, to make some money, possibly, because uh, obviously we're now losing the money the cannibal was making, but the cannibal was losing money anyway. We should be net positive, but uh, I don't know. We will have to see. Uh, right, now then, let's have a look at uh, the, the, the routes that aren't paying. Uh, now, the main line has picked up. As you can see, it's now got 310 on board, so it is going to start earning again imminently. Uh, and I think the same goes. I think we're going to leave the jury out on all of these passenger services for the time being uh, and see if they recover in the next, I don't know, let's say half an hour or so. Um, there's a reasonable chance that they do so. Uh, they're gradually grabbing a few more passengers, but it's going to take time for those passengers to get to uh, uh, get to where they need to go. Uh, train 76 has reached its lifetime. All right, well, you're calling for attention. Let's go and uh, give you some attention. Um, yes, I rather think you probably have reached your lifetime, haven't you? Uh, right, okay, lumber, lumber train. Uh, I don't doubt that this one makes money, actually. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it makes quite a lot of money as well. Um, old steam service just kind of going, oh, you new people, uh, you think you're all so flipping clever, uh, but here I am every year bringing in the best part of 10 million quid. Uh, now, if I upgrade your station here, uh, then we can uh, we can potentially, uh, well, we can, we can go with whatever we like if we do that. Uh, right, follow it along. Um, right, jolly good. Uh, act of war. Hey, Colonel, from Denmark EU, as opposed to... Denmark, uh, South Dakota. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if there is a Denmark in South Dakota, but uh, hello, Actable. Uh, that bridge angle burns my sense of right. Yeah, they, they, I, yeah, it probably does. Um, I don't, I'm going for better angles with the, with the new series. Better angles is an aspiration. Uh, no more just kind of forcing stuff to, to work. We're just going to try and make stuff work properly. Uh, right, you're waiting for a path. Well, while you're doing so, let's see if I can come up with a replacement I like the looks of. So it's currently got a capacity of 300. Uh, what do these state cars do? This is the uh, the McCaw B Bogey Bolster Wagon, as you well know. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we've got in the uh, in the shop here that might uh, that might make us all quite excited to be a part of it. Uh, now these these Amtraks. Uh, are these passengery? I don't think they are, given that their their speed is not all of that. Uh, do you ever have a dum dim dim dum push pull service for the Keystone service trains in the late nineteen eighties? Uh, you don't. You're not going to tell me, are you? This this one's got even more information. Northeast corridor. That sounds like passengers to me. Um, yeah, this is a passenger service, or that's what it was introduced. To represent someone here will, will tell me uh, any plans for rise of industry well not today uh, but yes more plans for, for rise of industry is is going to happen um, but not today uh, either that or we just go uh, we go we go diesel and we scroll to the bottom of the list and uh, we got the class 37 obviously uh, which is always good and we'd go rail freight with that or uh, we go with with my favorite train uh, the SD40 I couldn't tell you why I like them so much. I just do. Um, uh, or, what else? We've got this, what about this Jolly Russian? Now, his tractive effort's hopeless uh, at 3.08. 3.08 is not going to cut it. Um, 
just to just to give you a comparison number there, and this is where I'm going to be proved to be completely wrong. Um, uh, so you know, two oh five. No, no, I'm, no, I am completely wrong. I am barking up all of the trees incorrectly. There you go. No, see, look, the SD four has got four ten, um, and that's that's just good for getting it going. Uh, gets it gets your big long trains rolling quite quickly. Now two ninety. Just pick one man. Stop dithering and get it done. I'm I'm being I'm, I'm putting my foot down with myself. What have, what do have we got? Some, one of these must. Have, I, I'm going to use one of these. No, I'm not because it's a passenger service. Or is it for or is it for general usage? Someone will tell me. Uh, what are these? What are these big fat uh, General Electric E60s? Uh, what are they? What are they all about? What are they for? Come on, I must. Have, I've got I've got Americans in here. You, you American people, tell me things. Uh, have I shown the profits yet? Oh yeah, I have. Uh, I've made some. Uh, that train has another a lo locomotive in the bl black back. If you don't delete it, it will limit the top speed. I've got one. It's got one at the back. Yes, it has. Um, well done. Thank you. Um, good. Yeah, get rid of that as well. It does. I remember putting it on there because it was quite good fun. Uh, passenger service. The E60 will use a secondary uh, Keystone service. Often just you know, northeast can use electrified units. They were both passenger and freight. You think it's passenger service. E60 is passenger. Right. Thank you. Right. In that case, E60 is off the, uh, off the cards. Um, I'm going to go with um, something. Something, 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 something. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to use, I'm going to use rail freight in it. Uh, we'll, we'll take that. Uh, one of them. Now we've currently got a capacity of 300 with the, uh, with the macaw. Um, and I'd quite like a little bit more than that. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. So that only does 120. Is there a faster state car? 160. Yes, there is. We don't want to use the naffies because everybody gets upstate, upset by that. Uh, now, this state car is American. I'm, I'm aware of that. Uh, and therefore, we will be crossing the streams a little. But uh, that's never held me back so far. So uh, just, just get comfortable. Just, just get comfortable with the fact that uh, I'm, about to, uh, I'm about to transatlantic this sucker. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, uh, off. We had 300. If we can up this to three more than that, that'd be lovely. Uh, 13. So 20 of these. Uh, let's go shopping. That's 10. That's 20. That's 30. 390. Beautiful. Replace now. Uh, it's over half a kilometer long. Splendid. In fact, it's over half a mile long, which is even better. Uh, I don't know if that's going to have enough grunt. We might need to stick another one on there. Uh, let's go find it and find out. Where are you? You're here. There we go. Now, this, is, this has been a very lovely service for me, this one. Uh, it's made an awful lot of money. I'm about to replace it with something significantly more expensive. Um, and hopefully it will continue to make the big bucks. So I've got the speed up. Yeah, I know they're American state cars. I know... I know, but it's fine. Um, do the smallest locomotive possible and the smallest station you can build. Uh, it's, it's, that's an unconventional request. Usually, everybody is going the other way. I know, really. I am. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I, uh, sacred cows uh, be damned. I'm, uh, I will go with, uh, with whatever takes me fancy, evidently. Um, I wonder if I've hosed this junction. I think I have. I think I've hosed the junction. By which I mean, I think this new train is too long. Let's see, how much extra are we pulling here? If it's any more than like two extra wagons, uh, then we will have... Yep, that junction's not going to... It's going to clog the junction. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to come up this side and that's going to be too late for it to cross over onto the other side again. So I'm going to need a fresh junction in here. Um... But there we go. Now then, this may look a smidge out of scale. Actually, it doesn't look so bad, does it? 
you can say that it does look so bad, but I'm going to tell you it doesn't, and therefore it doesn't. Um, it'll be fine. Trust me, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. No, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Uh, flood definitely doesn't fit. Um, because it was continuing to spawn new wagons. So it's only going to overlap by like two or three, but it is going to overlap. So I'm going to let these two go through, and I'm just going to remodel this ever so slightly. Uh, Gull Gear, uh, thanks very much um, for the uh, for the donation. That's uh, that's jolly decent of you. Uh, great to see you on stream again. Uh, keep the bulldozer oiled and give Mrs. Miggins a hug. Um, I'll give her a hug with a bulldozer. Uh, that's uh, that's typically what happens to Miggins. Uh, she always builds in the wrong place. Um, but thank you very much. Uh, right, good. Yes, good. State cars are for cattle. Very good, Electric Fox. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well done. Excellent. Solidly played. And uh, and so on. So we're, we're waiting for this to clear through there. How fast are we going here? 55 kilometers an hour. Well, that's that's not quick, is it? The answer is no. No, it's not quick. Um, but, you know, it'll, it'll get there eventually. Uh, and if the money is good enough, I might stick a, a second loco on there, which will obviously get it moving a little bit quicker. Right, are you going to get out of my face now? Good. And then once it gets out of my face, I can remodel this junction. It just needs to about here, I think. That's where I'll put the, uh, the track split. Um, and that should be... Uh, yeah, that should, that should get the job done. I reckon. We shall see. Uh, right. And almost there. Uh, oh, a, a, a very splendid uh, donation from uh, Captain Winkle on behalf of Uke Rutoon. Uh, Ru Uke Ruton. Trademark. Fine. Um, cool. My camera and voice is out of sync. It really shouldn't be. Because they're both, they're both coming up the pipe at the same time. Uh, face cam audio is about three seconds delayed. I've no idea how that's happened. Intriguing. Okay, well, the the, the only alternative, the only re the way I have to resolve that, that's bizarre. Because um, they're, they're simultaneous. They're both coming up as one single stream and it's the same system I use normally. Um, oh, hold on. No, what's going on here? I see now. Interestingly, uh, my my software here is uh, is telling me that there's some audio sync problems. I may have to go down and then come back up again. Uh, please do some Bruce Lee impressions. I'm going to take you down in a big fight anytime soon. You have dishonoured yourself for the last whatever. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bulldoze this. Pull pause here and. Well, I'm going to fix this now, and then I shall restart the stream, and hopefully everything will sync back up again. All right? It's a bold plan, I know, uh, but it just might work. Right, do a bit of that, do a bit of this, uh, and then uh, and then fling this down here. I don't know why I don't do this after I come back again, but I've I've clearly got my reasons. Uh, and then we'll fling you down here. Don't make a meal of this. Get it done. Because uh, if you're uh, if you're pulling the okie cokey at the moment, then that's that's not satisfactory. Uh, right. Go a little bit further. Go a little further, and then do it like that. And then we should have plenty of space for this to all sort itself out. No, no, well, we haven't we haven't sorted it out at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, just. Will you just play the game here, please? Why are you now giving me trouble? Go this way, then. 89. Well, to be honest, given that we didn't get anything above 60 coming out, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, let's do that. And then uh, take that off. Do this. Do that. Perfect Mundo. Uh, and then we'll stick one on here, like so. And we'll stick one on there, like that. We'll stick one on here, like this, uh, and then everything should work. Let's hope. Um, right, okay, I'm going to keep this paused. Oh, it's in sync again. Is it, though? Sync fixed. Distinct absence of Mr. Autosave. Intriguing. 
Yeah, okay. Well, if I'm in, in which case, we all just needed to be a little bit patient. Um, and, uh, and that's resolved. But that's good. Uh, in which case, I shall keep going. I'll keep an eye on things. Uh, obviously, if it... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, save again before another... No, no, no. The, the game's fine. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's just the internet, isn't it? I mean, you know, anything can happen. Um, and, and obviously has. Uh, right, okay, here we go. So we're pulling into the station here. We'll see how much we make off this run. It's not going to be significant because it's not a full load. Um, and it's broken again. What? Just, will you people make your mind up? Honestly. Right, okay. I am going to do it. I'll go to restart. And, uh, and I'll be right back. Um, talk amongst yourselves. I'll, uh, I'll make this work. I'll even pause a game for you because, uh, you know, exciting things and all of that jazz. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, let's do... Let's turn me off there. In fact, that might actually fix it. Let's turn me back on again here. And you never know. Let me know if that's fixed it. If, th if this has fixed it, then maybe everything's fixed. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not convinced. I'm not dropping any frames or nothing. I just couldn't, I couldn't honestly tell you. Just restart. Let's just get it over and done with. Um, out of sync. Not out of sync. It's broken. Okay, I'll be right back.